Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we'll be taking a look at the long-awaited TARDIS rewrite mod. So we've taken a look at the TARDIS before, but this is the rewrite that Dr. Matt did, and this is definitely a nice improvement. Unfortunately though, it would not be getting any more major updates, at least from what I've seen on the description of the mod itself. And that's really sad to see because I was really waiting to do this, but apparently this is the best time to do it since it's not going to get any more big updates. The TARDIS rewrite is such an amazing mod, being able to just flawlessly walk through the doorway into the much bigger inside interior and then also able to interact with certain things using this menu. And of course once you're behind the helm you can fly the TARDIS around as well as teleport to different areas and even use a camera system once you're inside. There's a bunch of cool little features and knickknacks to take a look at today but of course we'll do that in the features tab. But before that, if anyone did suggest this, they'll be down below. Guys, make sure to leave suggestions in the comments section down below or my Discord page in the description. What's up, guys? Welcome back. The TARDIS, the long-awaited mod. You guys have wanted me to do the rewrite for years now. But the reason why I didn't is because, well, I wanted to wait until it was fully complete. But as I just said in the overview, yes, the TARDIS is done with its major updates and unfortunately it really didn't get that finished sheen that we really hoped it would get but of course dr mad might come back to it it's just from what i've seen on the description of the mod page it doesn't seem like it'll be anytime soon anyway this is the tardis guys the rewrite has a much bigger in interior than the old one did and you can even change it we have a few different interiors we can change it to that i'll show you guys in a minute but just to compare it to the original tardis Here's the OG one. Now something I noticed immediately is that there's a more realistic look to this one. Like something about the color and the shading, it just looks less cartoony than this one. And also, when you enter this one, uh, well that one doesn't really work anymore. But this one, check this out. You can actually see inside of it from the outside. And not only that, but you can even interact with it in some way. Let's spawn um, the skull for instance. So say you have this skull, you can just lob it in there and take a look. It's actually in there. You go in, and it's right there. So that's really cool you can do that. And obviously just walking through it. Now there is a bit of a skip, because technically what's going on is you're actually being teleported into the interior. If I can show this off, if we can no-clip out. Okay, so they did a good job at hiding it, but yeah, in reality this is actually somewhere else on the map. It's just that when you go through it, it just it seems so seamless. And you can even see on the outside, it looks really cool. You can also go ahead and close the doors. And then there you go. And now that we're inside the good old TARDIS, we can now check out the menu. So it'll start out like over here. It'll say here to click open the UI. We're gonna go ahead and do the pop-up because that's gonna make it way easier. So first things first, we can set a destination. Now this, can get pretty complex. You could set custom coordinates or you can go ahead, c coordinates, c I can't say that word. <laughs> Mind you guys, it's five in the morning, so that might be why. But we're gonna go ahead and select something manually. So this is gonna make a second TARDIS. You can kind of fly around. We're gonna go to a different planet. We'll go to the, let's go to the Sandy planet. Okay, this planet looks like death. So we're gonna actually click this as our default location. Great. Now that we've done that, we're going to now... Now we're going to take control of the ship, guys. And by ship, I mean TARDIS. So you'll notice we can't move. We gotta click R. Just like the classic TARDIS. And now we can fly wherever we want to. And we can press F to open the door. Which looks pretty weird. You can kind of look inside of it. That's really trippy. And you can press right click to change your direction for your spin. Now this is just kind of silly you can go clockwise counterclockwise or have no spin at all we're now going to click left click and now we will travel to a whole new world theoretically there we go guys we're now traveling through space and time to another dimension or in this case a different planet and once we're ready we can click once more and this might take a little bit but we're, we're getting there i promise and there we are. We have now teleported to the location that we wanted to. The one that we set prior. And as you guys can see, it, it works. Which is pretty damn sweet. We're going to open the doors up. 
get out of the TARDIS, and now we are out on this planet, which hopefully doesn't kill us because it looks pretty nasty. So something I've always wanted to do with this rewrite is, since you can open the doors from anywhere, I always wanted to see what does it look like when you're upside down. So we're going to see if we can tilt this. We're going to go ahead and tip it upside down. And now we're just going to mess with the gravity here. This looks so bizarre. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, so, so I wouldn't do that if I were you. Next up, we have door controller. This just lets you close and open the door. Obviously, pretty simple stuff. We also have the lock controller. We can lock the door, so <laughs> it makes the car car locking sound so if another player is on your server he can no longer get into your TARDIS we also have music you can put custom music in I'm actually going to test this alright guys I got a YouTube here hopefully this is good enough oh failed to load video file does it exist of course it exists it's the song for my channel unfortunately that did not work there might actually be something with that then we also have the new feature fallback. So this you can toggle power, which is really cool. Just turns everything off. It's actually kind of creepy. Cause now it's so quiet. But we're gonna turn it back on. We also have fast rematerializing. I'm gonna turn that on and fast return. Next up we have the scanner. Uh, wait, what's going on? Are we materializing? Oh, I guess we are. And we're going in tilted. This this doesn't look right. I don't even, is, wait, is the TARDIS even on? Oh! And now we're back. Great. Okay, so that works. It's good to know. You can turn the quick dematerializing off if that helps. But I like quickness, especially for this video. And the scanner's pretty cool. It's just like your basic camera system. If we can actually pull it up here. You can see the front, the right, the back, the left. Just your basic scanner. And then we also have some binds. So you can bind so many different functions to your keys. I'm not going to mess with that because then I'm going to screw with my key bindings already and that's going to be bad. And now we have interior. This is what I wanted to test out guys. So we have Brune Dooms. If that's how you say that. Click that. Unfortunately, we do have to exit the TARDIS and... Oh, it's locked. Oh god, we're stuck. There we go. Okay, go ahead and respawn another TARDIS because this only works when you spawn a new one in. And lo and behold, we have a new interior. So this looks pretty damn sweet and not only is this new, we have a different floor. We have a whole different floor we can go down, doors activate, unfortunately the textures do look a little weird. But this is way better than before. Look at this, we have a little room in here. You can like customize this like, um, here we go, we got a nice little couch. We can like put that there set up a nice room and now you have a little mobile home pretty much and i i just think this is such a cool idea because the the rewrite standard interior doesn't really have much to go on and something else that's really really cool that i actually spent a lot of time researching but unfortunately still can't understand all of it is all these little knobs and stuff you can mess with all of this and these are actually the different functions so you don't have a screen to access everything instead you have these but first we can access the TARDIS in here, and you can even see me in there, just hanging out. We can go ahead and close the door. We can just go wherever we want. And once you decide to go somewhere that you're happy with, we can now mess with all the different settings. And here's the door if you want to know what's going on. We have space outside, which looks freaking awesome. Before I forget, we also have the sonic screwdriver, which you can use to, uh, I believe, lock the door. Yes. So you can open and close the door with a sonic screwdriver. Such cool functionality there. But anyway, now we're going to mess with these knobs. So clicking these knobs, it'll usually tell you what it does on the left, thankfully. But other than that, there's really not much of an indication. But you can almost interact with every single thing here. Flicking all these switches, pulling down all these levers. I think we just killed the power. But that activated the cloaking device. So for instance, now we go into it. We are now invisible. So if you want to stay away from your friends, that's a good way to do it. Pulling these back up. Oh. Okay. So that's the power. And then this is the cloaking device. Okay, so this is so complex. You have all these different knobs that do something. And a lot of them probably don't do anything. 
This looks like the main power because, yeah, we're, we're falling into an abyss. So we need to reactivate power here. And then this is the cloaking device. I don't know what the other ones do. They don't tell me what it does. We also have these knobs here. Oh, is that the door? Yes, okay, so that's the door controls. All right. That is the lock. So now the door's locked. Guys, I'm figuring all this out as we go. So, oh, that display just popped up. That might just be for show. At this point, I really don't know. We have these spinny knobs, which don't appear to do anything. And then next up, we have these clicky things, which you cannot click on. But now we have all these things, more levers. These levers don't appear to do anything. We have a little keypad, which uh, makes a little typey sound. We have a keyboard, also makes a clicky sound. Some more knobs. Ooh, this one brings up an awesome display. And then more clicky keyboards. Now over here, this looks really important. We have a, like some kind of pull lever. Whoa, I think, okay. I don't know what that did. But then we have this one. This looks important. Okay, that is the dematerializing lever. All right, so that's how we teleport. Makes sense. Now, where are we going to teleport to? It should be that sand planet. Now, my question is, how do you set a destination? Because there's not really a screen that you can do that. Now, I've never really watched much Doctor Who, but this is seriously like that that materializing or dematerializing feel looks really cool when you travel through space. We're flipping the hell out right now. I don't know what the heck's going on, but uh, this is just such a cool mod. It just it really saddens me that there's not going to be any more work on it. So with that being said, guys, that really is pretty much all there is to this mod. I think the only thing we can really do now is just fly around and reminisce at what this mod could be or what it could have been. But to be fair, it already is pretty damn awesome. So there's not really anything else that I'd want to change on this mod. It already is pretty damn good. All right, so I'm just gonna go to each planet and see exactly what this looks like. I don't know why the TARS is flipping out right now. I think we might have actually done something. Oh, okay. So yeah, we can set the spin direction. But this is such an awesome mod, guys. Um, this is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. I really can't think of anything else to do with this mod. And that's why I wanted to wait until now so I could show you guys all the new features. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And this was honestly kind of a somber video for me because I really was looking forward to seeing this thing completed. And I guess this is the best that we're going to get for now. If you want to subscribe to see more videos just like this though, click that red button down below. And also leave a comment in the comment section down below to let me know what you want to see next. And if you want to leave a suggestion, that'd be awesome too. All of the mods and some links will be in the description, guys. Go ahead and check that out. And with that being said, my friends, this is going to be the end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you guys like Doctor Who, I recommend this mod. Until next time, my friends, thanks for watching and farewell. Once again, you guys, thanks for watching until the absolute end. This was such a cool video to do. Kind of a flashback to the old video I did for this mod. But if you want to see the video I did last, click on the video to the left. And if you want to see a random video, click on the video to the right. Thanks for watching and until next time.